Y'all know Damien Chazelle, one of my favorite filmmakers working right now. This show had me excited, but does it live up to the expectations? What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. I finally got through every episode of The Eddie. I'm tired, but we did it. I need you in the comments section. Were you excited for this show? This is a non-spoiler review. And let's get right into it. So a French club owner deals with the everyday chaos of running a live music venue in the heart of Paris. This stars Andre Holland, Amanda Stenberg, of course, Damien Chazelle being involved as a producer and directing the first two episodes. I saw that and I said, yes, it's cool to see him going into television. I like him more so in the movie space, and I'll explain why here in just a bit. Uh, but his direction is oh so slick and the guy loves jazz. He's incorporated jazz into almost everything he has done, uh, and he handles it so well. As someone who doesn't necessarily love jazz all the way around, I mean, obviously I hear it and I can get sucked into the beats and whatnot, and this show does such a good job of getting you invested into the music. And that's one of the things that intrigued me the most. Yes, I enjoyed certain aspects of the storylines. The acting was incredible, uh, but it's the music and it's the vibe of the show. Very calm, very subtle at times, and a bit slow. Slower than I anticipated, slower than maybe even the filmmakers intended, which does cause some issues later on. But I will say, I mean, obviously, Damien Chazelle's direction in the first two episodes looks great, sounds great, everything that you expect from that caliber of filmmaker and the caliber of the cast as well. Of course, Andre Holland, the guy who I've been seeing pop up here and there on Netflix. Last year, we saw him in a couple of projects, one movie in particular he was fantastic in. He's great as Elliot, and the Elliot-centric episode, one thing I thought was cool about this show was every episode kind of deals with a different character. And of course, those storylines continue to progress, and you see what happens on different ends. Uh, but the Elliot episode, you establish who he is at the forefront of the show. He's a jazz club owner. He's juggling financial problems. There are tensions between the members of the band. Then all of a sudden, he gets a visit from his teenage daughter. There is a shocking turn of events. Uh, his life begins to change, as does everyone around him. And he's worrying if what he loves, if what he has invested everything into is going to remain intact. Okay, we've seen similar things like this before. It's nothing new per se, but it all comes down to how you handle it. And let's start with the actual script. I think the dialogue is a strength if you're expecting this to be something like a La La Land. It's not that. That is not what this show is. It's very different both in look, in tone, and how it's established. Uh, less colorful, of course, but you're dealing with a very different time. You're dealing with more depressing elements, honestly, and certain storylines that deal with real-life issues, family friction. One thing that I heard going into the show was the fact that the songs were written before the actual dialogue was written, and the script was actually built around the songs. And when you're watching this, that, and I can't confirm that, but that makes sense to me because the jazz takes over, it comes to the forefront, the screen is so much more colorful and vibrant, the sound takes over, it's much more atmospheric, the music, like I said, is fantastic, and any time there is a song playing, you could almost say, well, the Eddie is a musical, it's not that, uh, but it feels that way at times, and it takes a couple of episodes for us to establish that, but as soon as you get into that, oh man, it's really good. You have this tone, you have characters established, and then all of a sudden something happens, and it feels like it's out of a completely different show. It feels like it's, uh, you know, taken out of The Sopranos or something. I'm just like, that was shocking. It went for the shock factor. It achieved that. But I don't know if it fit what was established. Don't get me wrong, the mafia aspect of this show is cool, and uh, the action-centric subplot was unexpected, therefore welcomed. But where I found fault in the show was, one, I just think the pacing was a bit too slow. It's going to throw some people off, especially if you're not as interested in jazz. And I do believe the dialogue will get you through that. It's a well-written show. The performances, like I said, from everyone, not only the actors that I mentioned, but Everyone brings it here, and it looks good. It looks dramatic. But I truly believe this should have been a story about a jazz club. Well, Austin, they're just doing La La Land again. Well, you can do something different with that. You can spin something like that around 
or make this a story about what they encounter, the Ukrainian mob. And like I said, I love the fact that every episode focuses on a different character, uh, but some of the mob elements, they didn't feel like they fit as well as the elements that I preferred. Now, everyone's going to approach this differently, and y'all know me, I'm the biggest Damien Giselle fan. Probably not, but I love Damien Giselle, right? Uh, so I wanted to love this. Didn't quite love it. Didn't hate it by any means. I do think uh, on a technical level, it is so good that I can't sit here and say it's a bad show. But I do see how some maybe more casual audience members are going to watch this, maybe going to get a bit bored by it. They're not going to get as invested as, say, I did. I got invested. I enjoyed the characters, but... The mixture of those two elements that I mentioned, and the further we go along, the further we stray away from what made this so good in the beginning, and that was the emotion and the heart that was so prevalent at the beginning of the show, and not that we lose that completely, but I didn't feel it as strongly, and once again, I really felt the pacing of this show, and that's not something you want to feel going into something like this. Uh, Damien doesn't direct every episode, just the first two, uh, but even in his episodes, I felt the plot could have been constructed just a bit better. All of those things being said, personally the good outweighs the bad, but everyone is going to approach this from a different standpoint. It all comes down to how much you relate to the characters. I did relate to those situations, but it's the mixture of two different tones and the mixture of a few subplots that didn't work as well for me. That's where the show started to fall flat. So I'm not going as low as I maybe thought I would at the beginning of this review. I'm going to 68% for the Eddie. If you guys like these Netflix reviews, that's what I do on this channel. Every single weekend we're talking Netflix. Uh, please leave your comments down below. Hit that thumbs up button. It really does help this video out, this channel out. I appreciate you guys for watching. You guys see the names on screen. That is everyone who is with me on Patreon. We're doing some awesome things over there. Patreon-specific podcasting. I appreciate all of your support for watching my vids. We'll be back with more Netflix content. And uh, tomorrow, mukbang and movies. Back to the Future edition. Stay tuned. Hit that notification bell. Can't wait.